This video includes a paid sponsorship from Omaze. Help Omaze support the work of GivePower and 501c3 and enter for a chance to win a custom unplugged performance Tesla Model S and $20,000 cash. Find out more at omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt. Tesla recently applied for a number of patents, including one with the description, durable glass for a vehicle, which provides some insights into what Tesla's armor glass is really made of, how it's made, and also how it compares to standard auto glass. So let's dive into all the details. I'm Jonathan, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Armor glass was originally mentioned at the Tesla Semi Reveal event when Elon Musk described it in the following way. Thermonuclear explosion proof glass. <laughs> close, I mean it's close. While armor glass was first introduced at the Semi event, it was made famous during the Cybertruck reveal when the demonstration didn't go as planned and showed, well it showed that armor glass is not unbreakable. However, despite the fact that it is breakable, armor glass is much stronger than standard auto glass. In simple terms, Tesla's armor glass is apparently an improved version of laminated glass. Windshields are by law required to be made of laminated glass, which, unlike a single pane of tempered glass, instead of just shattering upon impact, the middle adhesive layer helps hold it together, and this helps keep passengers inside the vehicle safer from, say, an object coming through the windshield. However, in many vehicles, the side windows are often made up of a single layer of tempered glass, which, when impacted, shatters into tiny little squares. This is definitely much safer than standard auto glass, but does not have the benefit of helping keep objects from coming through the glass into the car, or vice versa, keeping passengers from going through the glass. Recently, Tesla upgraded the 2021 models to include laminated glass instead of standard tempered glass, on the front passenger and driver side windows in addition to the windshield. This of course not only helps to lessen the road noise and make the cabin of the vehicle quieter, but this also improves the safety. Tesla Roddy recently posted an article that really helps demonstrate the strength of Tesla's new glass in their vehicles. This article describes how a Model 3 windshield protected the occupants in this vehicle from concrete blocks falling onto the car. So with all that being said, let's dive into the details of this patent, starting with Tesla's description of the layers that make up this glass. First of all, this patent application describes glass with a three-layer design in the following way. The multi-layer glass stack includes an external facing glass layer, an internal facing glass layer, and an adhesive interlayer positioned between the external facing and internal facing glass layers. So in simple terms, this is describing glass that has three different layers, glass on the outside, glass on the inside, and the adhesive in the middle. This patent application goes on to describe a glass that is made with five or more layers as opposed to the three layer glass that we just talked about. This five plus layer glass adds one or more middle layers to the glass stack to form a thicker, stronger glass. This video is sponsored by Omaze. Help Omaze support the work of GivePower and 501c3 and enter for a chance to win a custom unplugged performance Tesla Model S and $20,000 cash. Find out more at omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt. This unplugged performance custom Tesla Model S includes a matte graphite exterior wrap plus blackout trim package, an S Apex carbon fiber wide body kit that adds 80 millimeters to the car's width, 21 inch custom unplugged performance wheels, an air suspension lowering kit, a cognac leather interior, and it has all the performance to match its looks, being able to go 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.3 seconds while still offering an EPA rated 348 miles of range. Give Power is on a mission to help roughly 2.2 billion people around the world who do not have access to safely managed drinking water. 501c3 seeks to mobilize the next generation to fight climate change by creating a global community that embraces low carbon culture. Help Omaze support the work of these great organizations and enter for a chance to win a custom unplugged performance Tesla Model S and $20,000 cash. Find out more at omaze.com forward slash cleanerwatt. So we've talked a lot about the number of layers in this glass. Now I'd like to dive deeper into what the patent describes as the actual materials making up these layers. When it comes to the outer layer of the glass, Tesla describes it by saying, 
In some embodiments, the external facing glass layer comprises a material comprising a metal. In some embodiment, the metal is selected from boron, silicon, and combinations thereof. Tesla also further says, the multi-layer glass stack includes an external facing layer of borosilicate glass. They also make it clear that this external facing layer does not include soda lime glass. When it comes to the adhesive layers, they say that those are made of polyvinyl ether, which also according to Tesla has energy absorptive properties. The inter or middle layers found in the five plus layer glass that we mentioned earlier is made of, according to them, one or more borosilicate glass and aluminosilicate glass interlayers. The interior facing glass layer is also made of borosilicate glass and aluminosilicate glass. Tessa also mentions that in some instances they do use tempered glass in the middle layer and also the interior facing layer. But it seems like every glass combination described always includes borosilicate glass as the outer layer. So now that we've detailed the actual materials, I think it's important that we dive into the significance of each one of these materials and their particular properties and talk about why they're significant. Now, when it comes to one of the more important materials, boron silica glass, this glass contains silica and also boron trioxide. And according to Science Direct, boron silica glass has low thermal expansion, high mechanical strength, and high chemical durability. Science Direct also points out that most laboratory glassware is now made of borosilicate glass, which is less prone to chemical attack, has a lower coefficient of expansion, and is also more resistant to thermal shock. When it comes to Tesla's statements about not using soda lime glass, Tesla describes the reasons for this by saying, the soda lime free chemistry allows the external facing glass layer to be less susceptible to chemical breakdown of bonds that results in humidity induced cracking in glass. Humidity resistance can prevent crack growth from pre-existing cracks and flaws, preventing the need for glass replacement. When it comes to the luminosilicate glass, which Tesla also describes in this patent application, this glass contains aluminum oxide and according to Science Direct, it is also very strong and durable. Aluminosilicate glasses have high values of tensile strength, resistance to high temperature, and excellent resistance to chemical corrosion. As we mentioned earlier, in some applications, Tesla also uses tempered glass, which really isn't all that significant because this is commonly used in automotive applications, so we won't spend a lot of time talking about that. When it comes to the polyvinyl ether that holds these layers together and also provides some shock absorbance, this polyvinyl ether is described by the Polymer Properties Database as having fairly good weatherability and heat resistance. Now, one of the things I found really interesting in this patent application is the fact that Tesla describes quite a different variation between the thickness of this particular glass, depending on how many layers make it up. They mention in some embodiments, the outer layer is between two millimeters and five millimeters thick. The inner layer is between 0.5 millimeters and 1.1 millimeters thick. They also mention that the inner layer includes a thin, chemically strengthened glass with high strength and flexibility. So when it comes to how this thickness compares to glass that's currently on the market, on the lower end, that three layer glass is very similar to what is found on other vehicles. But when it comes to the thicker five layer glass or five or more layered glass, that's going to be substantially thicker than glass that is currently on the market. So as we've talked about the different materials in this glass, it appears like that exterior layer boral silicate glass is really one of the big keys to the strength of all of Tesla's glass. When it comes to the strength of this boral silicate glass versus standard soda lime glass, Tesla describes it in the following way. The soda lime glass stack has a 10% chance of failure when struck by a projectile with 1.4 joules of impact energy while the borosilicate stack has the same 10% chance of failure when struck by a projectile with a much higher impact energy of 3.9 joules. Interestingly enough, when it comes to that internal facing layer, it appears like a thinner layer is actually stronger and better. Tesla mentioned that glass stacks with thinner internal facing glass layers yield improved performance when struck by projectiles. Now, obviously, when it comes to this layered glass, whether that's the standard layered glass that's found on Tesla's current vehicle lineup or this armor glass that is much stronger and can take even further impacts, there's a lot of obvious benefits to having a really strong glass on a car because little rocks 
and small things on the road aren't going to crack your glass and you're less likely to have to replace your windshield or other glass in the car. This also has a lot of safety benefits because different things on the roadway that could intrude the glass and come and hit you as a passenger in the car may be stopped by this much stronger glass. So in conclusion, when it comes to Tesla's armor glass, I believe this is one of the most underappreciated technologies built into Tesla's vehicles. We talk a lot about all the fancy tech built into Tesla's cars, but stronger glass that has to be replaced less often and also helps keep projectiles from coming into the car is of course really important tech. This clearly demonstrates that Tesla's impressive technology is not limited to electronics, but also involves material science as well. And obviously Tesla's armor glass, while it's not unbreakable, it is going to be extremely strong and much stronger than anything else that is currently on the market for a consumer production vehicle. Here at the end of the video, I'd like to once again thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. Help Omaze support the work of GivePower and 501c3 and enter for a chance to win a custom unplugged performance Tesla Model S and $20,000 cash. Find out more at omaze.com forward slash cleaner watt. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because it helps other people find the video as well. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.